Alrighty, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Okay, take the energies how they align. Energies are reversible. Time is fluid. If it resonates with your story, you can apply the messages and advice to your life. You do have free will to do so. And you have free will not to do so. Moving forward, I did go ahead and shuffle here. Surrender to a uh, belief of scarcity, okay? The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So if you're holding on to what you have as if you're not going to get any more, you're, not go you're pretty much closing that off, right? So we want to, you know, be mindful of what we have, appreciate what we have, be grateful what we have, but know that more is coming. Surrender to resentment. So if you're holding a grudge, that's sorry holding a grudge or resentment it's like poison right try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward um that will create more positivity in your life you don't want to fixate on negative energy it will keep your vibrations low uh, in this lifetime we're here to heal vibrate high and move into a clear space and resentment it just doesn't give you clarity right so move out of that okay let that energy blow with the wind and step into your power and step away from resentment surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself so what this means is making new agreements right let go of limiting ideas about yourself um release anything that your mother told you your grandmother your brother anyone who told you you were stupid or you couldn't succeed or you, you couldn't read you were dyslexia you can't talk in front of people you're incapable of becoming a multi-millionaire you're not growing your line whatever it is throw that in the trash and step into your power move forward as who you know yourself to be today okay um tap into that hyper awareness um and and make new belief systems make a uh, new uh agreements with yourself now is definitely the time to do so all right move, moving forward we're going to go ahead and read from um the wild unknown tarot we're going to tarot we're going to read in the upright unless spirit is just calling me to read a card in reverse. That happens from time to time. This is for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What do we have for Scorpio? This is for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What do we have for Scorpio? Mid May 2020 reading. Alrighty. Again, if the energies how they resonate, please do comment if it resonates. Like, subscribe, share, smack the bell. All right. I hope everyone's thriving and surviving and feeling well. Yes, honey. I okay. The hermit came out, and so, so we're coming out of hermit mode. It did come out kind of sideways, so we're coming up out of hermit mode. Okay. Maybe we went, went went within to find the answers that we were looking for. Um, we do have a light bulb lining, lighting up here. We went into our protective shell, and we did find the answers that we were looking for. Um, we're coming out that hermit mode, okay? We have the full card. Okay, so we're coming out the hermit mode, and we're ready to take action, okay? You see the little chiclet? The chiclet is just like new, fresh energy, ready to embark on life's journey, right? They're sitting up on the tree looking down, seeing what it is that they can get into, okay? We've been in the house, but we outside now. You have the daughter of wands. So, <clears throat> uh, so the, the page of wands here. So that's new spark of energy. So you coming out, this rest period that you just went into was very successful for you. You were able to go in and get some wisdom. You were able to get all the answers that you need. The divine, the God source was uh, speaking to you. It was like you tapped in and you got the messages that you needed to embark with this new, fresh, fiery energy. Um, you could pro probably have um, fire placements in your chart here. Um, this is really good so far, uh, Scorpio. Yeah, no. Um, it looks like the... Yeah, I see that we're expanding on family here, right? We came out and all our cups are full. If you could see here, there's just a ray of sunshine, good energy coming through here. Um, yeah, so whatever information, it's like you guys got some clarity about your life mission. 
Yeah, so it's like these answers. What I get here with the Hermit and the Ace of Wands is that you guys got a cosmic download about what you want to pour your emotions into, what drives you emotionally, what makes you feel fulfilled with your family, what like what do you love, like that infinite love that never goes. It kind of reminds me of a love for a child, right? Um, it's like we got some clarity, um, epiphany. Okay, about what life cycle we're in and what we want to manifest in this lifetime. So some truth struck you. Okay, sometimes you get hit with the truth and you're like, aha. You know, maybe you got some truth about um, how to be more financially capable. I feel like someone just came out of um, a finance, financial disarray. Maybe you got your stimulus check. Maybe your taxes came. Because uh, I know some people file it and, it, you know, they're just now getting them. But I do see... Uh, that we, yeah, this is, this is really good energy. Yeah, we could be collaborating with someone. So the energy that I see here is Virgo, Aries, Aquarius. Um, I think they call this the full card Taurus too. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and um, Expand on this reading here. Spirit, come down with divine messages. I ask the God's words to come down with protective white lights. Spirit, come down with honesty, unconditional love, and guidance. Acts to be the conduit. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups here. Okay. The Seven of Swords, uh, it represents strategic planning. The Eight of Cups is a strategic... Okay, so we went within to figure out how to walk away from something. We went in to get some intelligence. We're trying to walk away from something or be strategic about something we're walking away from or walking towards. You have the Eight of Cups with the Hermit. Yeah, so we went in to... You know, sometimes when we're in a situation, we're stuck. We do have to take time out to kind of analyze the situation in its entirety. So you went in and you thought about it. So now it's showing that you're ready to embark and you figured out how to move away from whatever it is that had you stuck. So we came into this new energy. So we're taking on a whole new um, season. When you see the zero, the full, it's a new season. We, we wiped the slate clean. We figured out what we needed to move away from without regrets here i mean because we went in and we strategically planned this is without regrets the cups that were there um no longer served us emotionally it didn't emotionally serve us so we had to walk away and good for you clarify the full cards here clarify the full cards here clarify the full cards for scorpio sun moon rising venus jupiter mid may reading what's going on with the full card spirit spirit come down archangels come down ancestors come down unconditional love what messages do we have for scorpio oh that's way too many <clears throat> interesting you guys had a lot of strength you guys been mentally strong figuring out some things to get to your wish fulfillment. Changes have to happen. I need one card, Spirit. God, come down. Angels, come down. Okay. Seven of Cups. Okay, so we had some choices, right? And this, the seven and the seven here lets me know that we really had to build our confidence to make the right choice for us, okay? Um... <coughs> if we're walking away from something saying no to something in turns we are saying yes to something else yes yes so we wanted to make sure what we're saying yes to was something that would be beneficial this is a journey that i want to embark on like every day i say yes to myself and it definitely is a journey i want to embark on and no one can change that it's non-negotiable so what i see here is that we're coming into this new season we wanted to make sure that the ch choices that we make is something that was tailored to our setting ourselves up for inevitable success, something that is still in alignment with us, right? 
okay, I have this choice, I have this choice. What is in alignment with me? What choices do I have to make for me? What is what is resonating with me, okay? Clearing the fog. When you go in with the hermit here, you have to go in and clear the fog so you can make the best choice for you. And, and that's good because when you're saying yes to self, you are saying no to something else, okay? Uh, clarify the daughter of wands here, spirit. Clarify the daughter of wands here, spirit. Clarify the daughter of wands here. Angels come down. Ancestors come down. Unconditional love. I ask to be the conduit. I ask for grand suggestions. The highest probability. Okay, that flipped itself over. Three of Pentacles. Like I said, um, you guys are uh, you guys are harnessing energy, and I feel like someone's working with you. Like, there's work involved, right? And I, I feel like it's probably work on yourself, work on, in, in, in your inner self, work in your inner home, your inner sanctuary, your inner temple. Work on yourself. Like, we're harnessing the energy to keep working on ourselves here. Because there's no one else showing up really here, right? There's no, um, there's no, um, a court card showing up here except for the Daughter of Wands. So it assures me that this is like personal work here, okay? Three of Pentacles, this person is working actually by themselves. Typically, and the, this uh, Three of Pentacles is usually three people, right? But what I see is someone building their home. So we're working on our inner self, what our, in, like, what our inner home environment is to look like for us. It's a self work here. And, and that's the energy that I'm picking up on. And this is about self. This is about no one but self here. Uh, clarify the Ten of Cups, Spirit. Clarify the Ten of Cups, Spirit, please. Come down. Thank you so much for your messages. Much gratitude to the Art of Tarot here. Spirit, come down with grand suggestions. The highest probability. Clear, concise here honesty and love angels come down what do we have for the ten of cups here for scorpio sun moon rising venus jupiter what do we have for scorpio here should i pull come on about the pool all right let's pull ten of cups justice and that justice if you could see here there's two knives justice always brings in that karmetic clarity here okay like i already mentioned there was some clarity and that was from your spirit guides justice was served it's like you were able to cut something here maybe you were trapped or felt like you were was in a lab a labyrinth how do you say it a labyrinth i, I don't know how you say it <laughs> um but you were trapped in a karmatic cycle that you had you broke free from because if you see here, the knife is cutting through that karmic cycle. Again, and, and it was awakening that happened here. With the Five of Pentacles being in reverse, we're able to start building and securing ourselves because that lack mentality had now left. We're able to pour into ourselves infinitely, okay, indefinitely. There was a lot of healing here. You had to cut ties with um, old agreements old self-beliefs here scorpio good for you you could be going through a spiritual awakening right now and that's what i'm getting a lot of clarity a lot of love an abundance of self-love is coming in a lot of self-appreciation understanding yourself justice yes I, this this clarity is very powerful this information that you got was very powerful Clarify the Ace of Swords, please, there. Come down. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Five of Pentacles, yes. We're building the home here with the Three of Pentacles. Be careful with overworking yourself or feeling like the scarcity, like you don't have enough. More is coming in. Your spirit guides are on your side, okay? I do see here that you have information on how you can create abundance. So let go of old beliefs. We could be tailoring between old beliefs and new beliefs is what I'm getting with the shift of energy here. 
we probably had a lack mentality about ourselves, okay? But you have information now that you can move into a better you um, and start creating and continuously building, bringing in true balance with yourself and the people around you, okay? Um, I do see that here. Don't give up on yourself, okay? If you are hitting a bad spot, it's time to get more information so you can go back and apply it and achieve it, okay? You're human. At the end of the day, you are human, and if you're healing, you're going to make mistakes, but you have embarked on a journey of healing, and that comes with trial and error, error right? It comes with making mistakes so you can know how to master so don't be hard on yourself. Talk to yourself how you talk to your children. Talk to yourself how you talk to your closest best friend that was, you know, being hard on themselves. We, we are our worst critics here. The world card. So yes, there was a completion that happened here. There was an eye-opening experience that happened here. I do feel like Spirit came down and gave you information. You have the information that you need to keep building, to keep collaborating with the the heart, the mind, and the soul, okay? The spirit, the soul. Um, what I think of it, the crown chakra, the heart chakra, and the gut chakra. Being in alignment is what I'm getting here. Two of Wands. Yes, you had to make a decision to step into your power and... Um, and move away from something that was really breaking you and tearing you down. Okay, so, you know, some growth is hard, right? But staying in that perpetual cycle is even harder because you meet the same pain over again. But if you're moving forward, yeah, you're going through obstacles, but you're, you're failing forward. You're learning and you're applying the information to a new situation. So it's way better to move into the new energy, completing an old cycle to learn how to maneuver through a new one. So, that's really good. Yeah. Also being, uh, going into emotional maturity. Uh, understanding your emotions. Being vulnerable and being honest with yourself. Being aka truly 100 is letting down those walls. But being strong enough mentally to say, yes, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to be emotionally available and emotionally honest with myself. And understand that this is required to heal. Page of Pentacles, you guys are looking to get regrounded, right? You guys are looking to start over with, you know, learning uh, how to ground yourself, stay centered, what security means to you, what home means to you, Re releasing the lack mentality, okay? Because some things in the past really, like past beliefs, I do see you guys um, moving forward from the past. Saying, yes, I'm ready to love myself. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to um, focus on the cups that I do have versus the cups that I do not have. If you guys aren't in this energy, you guys will be moving into this energy. Okay? Yeah, you guys are could be starting a job. Yes, Ace of Pentacles, you have the Emperor. Um, I feel like you guys fought hard to like come into this place to find a new job. Uh, which is really, 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 really good. <clears throat> so, Scorpio, step into your power. And that's the best thing that you can do. Step into your power, your passions. Let your emotions uh, drive you towards success, okay? Anything that's interrupting that is is, is going to... You're going to have to say no to that so you can continue to say yes to self, okay? That's very important, okay? Because we are growing. We're going through a spiritual awakening and we are learning. I'm, I, this is a really good reading. Spirit, what advice do we have for uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for mid-May 2020? Okay. We have... It's time to take action, new moon and Aries. So what I see here, because you guys are going through the spiritual awakening, saying yes to say, no, saying yes to say, saying yes to self and saying no to things that are not in true alignment with you, 
that's what the full card keeps coming up for. You guys taking action and making new agreements every day to move into your new cycle every day, right? That completion is always coming. We're always mastering something and learning something. We're always failing forward, right? That it reminds me of my spiritual journey. It reminds me of all the old agreements that I had and I was like, Jasmine, that's not you. You know, it reminds me of completing relationships so I can move into a new being with myself in a new season. I'm always embarking on a new journey to figure out how can I get to the next level of my healing. So it's time to take action. This is a cardinal sign moved by Mars. So this is a assertion, assertiveness, the fire, that passion that drives you, but not only drives you, it pulls you towards your growth, which is very important. It's also reminding me of Taurus energy as well which means that you have the ability to be, be luxurious in building your home and giving up that lack mentality, knowing that abundance is coming in at any time. Surrender to belief of scarcity. Taurus is know that they're, they're very secure with being having that material needs for themselves, right? And I see that here. We have to give up the lack mentality in order to move into an energy of what we're most deserving of. So let me go ahead and read um, this for you. <clears throat> and this is New Moon. New Moon in Aries. The flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you are on the right track. Drawing this card is a super positive sign if there is something you want to happen in your life, take this card as a yes from the universe. This is time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, starting off the will of the year. But you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for. But the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. And that's what I've seen with that Ace of Wands and that full card energy kept coming up. You guys are ready. And then, again, this page of this page of Wands is a new spark, a new festering, smolding fire that's ready to pop and move you towards your all your emotional fulfillment. The caution, don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You'll create much better karma for yourself. Okay, so yeah, just still, you know, understand when you're moving in, you're finding out, and you're, you're being liberated by spirit and the God source, and you're understanding yourself better, and you're getting, you're building up your confidence, and you're like, who I know myself now, and you could talk to that. Um, remember to, you know, don't sh overshadow your growth for anybody, but also don't over boast. You know, people start moving into healing and getting too egotistic, you know what I mean? And that's not what healing is about. Healing is not to trump others as if you weren't just in a place of, uh, of, uh, of a lower vibration. <clears throat> don't even think about giving up, Okay additional meanings for the card do your best and be happy with that like i said didn't i say that yeah you are you you're going to fail you know what i'm saying so just take the bill take the necessary steps take the lessons take the answers and understand that things that are not going right are answers to how you can get things on track um do your best and be happy with that. Avoid being brash right now. You need a 12-month plan. A new male is coming into your life. Ooh, okay. All right, let me see if there's any... Um, this is not about love. Um, but let's get some love messages because this is definitely about spiritual growth here. But let's see if there's any love messages that we want to... Uh, convey to Scorpio mid-May 2020 you might be gambling with love right now maybe you don't know if you want to step into love right now maybe love 
uh, when you're going through a spiritual awakening or coming figuring yourself out, you probably don't have a lot of time um, for love. You know, you're, you're, you're healing. Farewell. Yeah, so someone left or we left someone. So right now I do see that we don't have time for love right now. Um, yeah, someone left. On the horizon, yeah. So someone left. Um, it was probably someone you have farewell and on the horizon. So maybe this was a love that made you feel um, complete, high in the sky. Uh, and, and they left. I um, wonder why they left. If you get that, it's like promise. So someone made a promise to you. Maybe they made a promise that they wouldn't leave and they left. Maybe they left without leaving a letter, or maybe they left a letter. I don't know. I don't know why they left. This person swept you off your feet. Lip service. Oh, this person definitely loves your lip service. Long term. Probably have a baby with this person. Love line revived. So maybe you'll be meeting this person again. Love line revived. Or this person probably made you believe in love again. And, and it's just crazy because they, they left. But I don't know why they left. Yeah, there's so many love signs here. I don't know why they left. I don't know why they left. So wings of love, guardians, and protection. Um, this person is pro uh, protecting you. Got wings of love, guardians, and protection. Love, line, revive. Farewell. So, <clears throat> this person is protecting you, or maybe they the protector. These angel wings. Oh, bye bye. Obviously, here, someone definitely could have, uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Hmm. Someone could have, um, someone could have, um, because this is such a loving, um, energy here. But someone left. And the guidance and protection is right above farewell. Someone could have moved on. and Because you have farewell. You have horizon. You have wings of love, gu guidance, and protection. And then you also have revived. Um, I'm getting the energy that someone left. Uh, and uh, I mean like... Um, Someone is your guardian angel. Your loved one could have passed away. Messengers, yeah. And they're sending you a message. Tweet, tweet, message. Sending you a message. So yeah, no, this is really weird. Cause um, yeah, farewell. Farewell, horizon revive guardian so someone tried to be someone passed away someone passed away maybe someone was trying to revive either you or you maybe you felt like because they left it was dead i don't know because it, it's so weird that there's a lot of love and they left so it leads me to believe like and then i don't see any like tower card energy here so Someone had to go to heaven. Especially with this, uh, again, with this card here. I'm just reading this as best as I can. This card here is going up to the horizon. You have angels and revive. Someone died. They tried to revive them, but they couldn't. That's crazy. Um, the, your, your person who left you... Uh, it still loves you. They still love you. They still love you. Um, it's actually making me sad. 
And they might be sending you messages in other ways. Yeah, you guys could have been hit married or thinking about getting married because that hitch just fell out. Um, yeah. Yeah, there was an interference. Someone interfered. This is really like something interfered. Um, your, your lover is reaching out to you. Your lover is reaching out to you. Your lover is definitely, you guys could have been married. Um, it's so crazy because now that I'm thinking about that, I just started watching uh, this you, this Netflix, show on Netflix and the lady was married and um, her husband got hit by a car and she was looking for um, the killer. She was like walking around and fucking checking um, car dents and stuff. And she was so angry. She was so, so angry that this person did a hit and run and killed her husband and left her with... Um, with her two sons. And then she started going to these meetings. Grievance meetings. And she was just so fucking angry. And then she met a girl there. At the meeting. And she was like eccentric and quirky. And then I really didn't get too much into it. But um, yeah. That's what it's reminding me of. And she was so in love. So in love. And they couldn't revive him. That's the only other way I could sense, like, all of this love and then farewell. That means that someone went into the horizon and is now your protection, is now your angel, and they, they weren't able to revive them. They probably attempted CPR. And they're sending you messages. They send you messages um, all the time. So... I hope the reading resonates for you, Scorpio. Um, peace to you and your energy. This was a very different type of reading for me. Um, but yeah, peace.